Good afternoon, I'm Faye Barker. The Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, says the government is open to postponing the planned lifting of all COVID restrictions in England later this month. In the face of rising cases, particularly in children, he said he couldn't rule out that people would still have to wear face masks and work from home where they can beyond June the 21st. Helen Keenan has the details. The Home Secretary says social media companies must act urgently to remove online posts, which she says glamorise migrant crossings. It comes now, a memorial, the first dedicated to the British killed during the D-Day landings, has been officially unveiled in Normandy. It's 77 years since the invasion that led to the liberation of Europe from the Nazis. But with veterans unable to travel to France this year, many marked the anniversary in the UK, as Ellie Pitt reports. Finally, the £111 million Euro Millions Prize won by a UK ticket holder has been claimed. The... Lucky them. That's the latest for now. Romilly Weeks will be back with the latest at 7.15. Until then, bye-bye. Good evening, I'm Faye Barker. This is ITV News London. The Director of Public Health for Harrow is urging the government to be led by the data only in deciding whether to open up on June the 21st. Police were met with hostility as they tried to break up an illegal rave in Essex last night. Now, after a long 15 months of theatre closures, some of the West End's biggest stars are performing right now at the Palace Theatre in front of a socially distanced audience. Tonight's show is also being live streamed for free and marks over a year of challenges for theatres and those who work in them. Performers from 18 musicals from Hamilton to The Lion King have come together to remind us that whatever the future holds, the shows must go on. Vincent McAvenny reports. Turning to sport now and Samo Farah's hopes of heading to the Olympics next month are hanging by a thread after he came eighth in the European Athletics 10,000 metres cup. Fingers crossed now, let's turn to the weather. Here's Ashling Creevy with the forecast. That is all from the London team for now. We'll be back tomorrow morning with updates in Good Morning Britain from six. Until then, bye-bye.